The Clyde, Cluay and Gaelic has always been an important part of the history of Glasgow, and particularly here in Govan, Ballygoin, at one point the centre of a shipbuilding industry. But who built the ships? Well, people came from all over the country, and in fact, it wasn't unusual to hear Gaelic spoken in the shipyards. So, I name this boat Bata. Bata is, of course, the Gaelic for boat. But maybe that should be long, which is technically the Gaelic for ship. So, I name this ship Long Bata. Long ship. You're welcome. There was once 19 shipyards on Avin Chluai employing thousands of workers, Luch Oprach in Gaelic. Today, there are only two. One downriver and this one, Fairfield Shipyard. The former Fairfield Shipbuilding and Engineering offices aren't used by the company anymore though, but this A-listed building has been restored to provide a heritage centre for the community. I met up with Pat Cassidy to find out a bit more. It's said that in 1913, there, that there was the equivalent of a boat launched in the Clyde every day. That's colossal. Around that time, this yard alone would have had nine and a half thousand people working in it, just, just Fairfield. On the Clyde, directly employed, there would probably have been about 70,000 people. Fairfield was the near centre of shipbuilding. Most families in this community worked or had family members working in the shipyard, so they had a very strong affiliation uh, to the yard. So this was more than just a vacant building. This was a sign of Govan's fast deterioration. It was important as a flagship, I think, to say no, uh, Govan's on the way back. There were a number of safes in the building, although they didn't contain, as you might expect, irrigate money, but rather important documents, and maybe most importantly of all, the plans for the ships. They were fire resistant and very secure. It's open. It fits. And this is the boardroom, the nerve center of the shipyard, where decisions were made and where those who wore these hats could be found. You can almost smell the irrigate, the money in here. Or is that cigar smoke? It was a very different world to the world of the Luch Oprach, the workers out in the cold and the wet of Ballygoin. Nice chairs too. It is often said Glasgow made the Cluai and the Cluai made Glasgow. Glaswegians joined by thousands, not only from the highlands of Scotland, but from England, Ireland and beyond. Building ships, working on ferries and dredging the river. I know a few islanders who are as wide as the Clyde, but that's another story. Mm -hmm.